Gadget FG100 DDS Function Generator We have this new gadget For making a sine wave Rectangular, sawtooth, triangular waveform Function Generator The power Modes, cursor, run, stop, filter Then for the DC offset Then for the out That is the BNC Bionet not coupler Then this one is for the amplitude Amplitude For the out Amplitude Of the wave Then the supply Four screw Screws What else? Uh, what's this? Bubbles wrapping. Also is the supply five volts USB micro jack for the supply here connected. So instead of micro USB, it is using this plug. Uh huh. And then for the USB, we also have this manual, just a regular uh, bond paper manual. We're outputting the output waveform, sine wave, sway wave, triangular, forward, so to reverse. We can use 3.5 to 10 volts or 5 volts, 3 to 10 volts. Frequency range. So it has a frequency range of 1 hertz to 500 kilohertz. And then. Let's get how can we power in this on? We are going to use uh a charger. We're going to use a power bank. We can use power bank because power bank is five volts. Okay, or charger, cell phone charger. This is also 5 volts USB, 5 volts to ampere. Charger, So here we have the power FG100 Plus 2.0 EZM Elect Studio and then mode we can select what waveform sine wave square triangle sawtooth three sawtooth 20% pulse ECG ECG sine wave again and for the cursor that is the cursor the blinking cursor you can adjust the position of the cursor and for the plus let us uh, see the plus here plus it increase the number increases Increasing the number, minus, decrease, plus, increase, 4, 5, 7, decrease. And for the run stop, that is the running, what frequency we are going to run. And then, 
for the offset ball, uh, offset, DC offset is also for the waveform. We can only see the, we're going to use a uh, stop. Let us first see the square wave. Okay, so, oops, square wave. And we're going to set the square wave into position of the cursor. Uh, let us say 1 hertz. So 0, if we press the positive or plus button, becomes 1 hertz. Run for running. We could not see 1 hertz here. We need an output. So, to visualize what is uh, 1 hertz square wave, 1 hertz, hertz, we need an output B and C. Since we don't have one output B and C in the package, I still have uh, this Where is that? This one, it is used in here is the BNC from my Usilisco. Then the uh, the other end is the probe. I get past uh, the ground and the pin. Let us uh, connect it to the, oh, so as you can see, that is the BNC connector. Oh, BNC connector, bionic nut coupler, the output, 1 hertz. We can see the 1 hertz uh, square wave, which is, we could not see the square wave, unless we're uh, using uh, an oscilloscope. 1 hertz. Let us uh, have uh, what is the output of this uh, square wave. We now connect the output of this generator to the input of to the oscill oscilloscope let us uh, use uh, a square wave the mode square and then moving the cursor moving the cursor let us first uh, set it to zero and then cursor move to one hertz plus then run we can now see the waveform we can now see here the square wave generated by this uh, function generator if we move the amplitude that is the amplitude how about the offset We cannot do the offset. Okay. So let us uh, arrange the probe, test probe, so that we have a nice signal. To get a nice signal, we can uh, check our probe here. That is again our. Uh, By moving the the offset, it will offset below. While moving it again, offsetting it above above the zero line. That is the DC offset for the amplitude. This one. 
Uh, we could not uh, with offset automatic offset what is uh, mean by the offset that is the the zero line that is the reference line zero line our wave is uh, going upward or going downward that is the offset that is a one hertz uh, frequency signal generated by this uh, square wave function generator we can produce different kinds of wave, but for now we're going just to use uh, a square wave. If we're planning to, okay. Now we have the offset upward, and then we can offset that downward, downward or below the zero line. That is the we call that the offset. We can uh, also vary the frequency, moving the cursor or stop done. Let us make uh, one kilohertz, one, then zero, run. That is one kilohertz. Why? Okay. Let us. It's not the square wave. One kilohertz. Trigger, trigger. So you can see it's moving the offset above, below, and then the real offset. What about uh, 100 hertz? Zero. One. Run. There is. Uh, this is not a, a square wave, perfect a square wave. There is some curve into the edge of the wave. While uh, 10 hertz, let us say 10 hertz. Run. Was, uh, noise. There's a noise at the signal. Okay. And again, about one hertz, one hertz, one hertz, stop running. Oh, this is one hertz, run, one hertz, with offset. below the zero line and then above about 100 kilohertz let us set that to 100 kilohertz uh, and one run the more, uh, the higher the frequency, the there is a distortion of the waveform, square waveform.